All right, guys, so I'm going to be painting a four inch uh, floating minnow. Um, right now, I'm using Createx Opaque White. Uh, we're going to get it real good with the white, and then we're going to switch to some other colors, um, put a stencil on it, and as we go through. So, I hope you guys enjoy this video. It's, it's the first one that I'm going to be doing, hopefully, get a little bit better. and share some tips and tricks with you guys so I'm gonna really spray this with a light opaque I want it to be a little translucent I don't want it to be all the way solid white but uh I'm gonna hit it around and, and keep going around so just bear with me as uh, I get the opaque on there and I'll be right back with you Yeah, sometimes it's hard to get that under belly of that and I'll try to take it off here and I'll fumble just a little bit but doing really light coats like I'm doing the paint dries really quick and it's really easy to cover up if you uh, make little mistakes like that um, I real I will wrap the bill uh, it's some tape when I wrap it with the stencil I don't mind if it gets a little paint on it uh, once it dips in the clear, it, it looks just fine. Uh, but I know it's hard to see on the camera, but I'm just hitting little spots um, that I want really white, kind of doing some shadowing, uh, some light and dark, and yeah, I'll fumble it again. But uh, try to pick it up on the edges there. But I'm gonna keep going with this opaque white, and then we're gonna switch colors. All right, guys, I'm done with the white. I'm getting out transparent Createx. This is uh, orange that I got at Hobby Lobby. Uh, I use pretty much all Createx paints and some, uh, uh, I got some other ones from the hobby store that I use, but I like these. The only thing is, um, some of them are a little thick. Now, this orange is really, really light. Uh, I don't know if the bottle looks dark, but it comes out really, really light. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shade it in and uh, do some light and dark areas and just kinda highlight it in the light orange and transparent. And I'm gonna go back over it with a gloss orange, which is a lot darker. And it will uh, create like kind of a two-tone uh, effect on the paint. And you'll, you'll see it when it's done. But I'm just lightly hitting all these areas of the bait you can you can see a little bit of light and dark i'm going to go back through it and kind of fill it in a little bit it's going to take a little time because this, the the spray just really sprays light and it doesn't spray very good the orange is a little thick and i really don't want it too thin to where it's you know really hard to paint with so i just try to paint really slow and uh, let it go from there so just we're going to do this and this orange from Createx and then we're going to switch colors again and in between these uh, I do heat set with a blow dryer just to let let you guys know it won't be in the videos but I do heat it with the blow dryer Thank you. 
All right, we got the, the orange on there. Now we're gonna be using this Tester's acrylic. Uh, this is a gloss orange that um, I got at the hobby store. I like the Tester's paint, especially the gloss ones, uh, the acrylics. Um, they spray really good in my air gun. And if you're wondering what I'm using, I'm just using the air compressor, hobby air compressor from Harbor Freight. They're about $75. Uh, you can catch them on sale for $65. Um, and then I bought just a regular airbrush off of eBay, like a $15 one. Nothing crazy. Um, I haven't been painting lures very long, but I set the pressure. It's, it's shooting around, uh, I think 30 PSI, like 28. So, I mean, it gets the job done. It definitely sprays a lot better than that little, uh, $20 compressor that they sell on eBay. Um. I bought one of those and I couldn't even paint a small jig with that so um, definitely a pretty good compressor it's not very loud uh, you can watch TV and you can't even hear it run so but I'm hitting the this minnow with this this orange this dark orange gloss orange it's really gonna uh, cover up the bait really good give it kind of a two-tone where uh, and all the grooves and everything it really looks good against that uh, createx transparent orange um, after that we're gonna we're gonna wrap it in a stencil um, and then I'm gonna hit it with some uh, hot pink I'm gonna hit it with some uh, I think it's magenta uh, and then we're gonna hit it with a couple other colors and just create a really cool effect so right here uh, we're going into fluorescent Createx color. Uh, this is hot pink. Um, it does not. It takes a lot of paint to paint over orange. So if you're going to use the fluorescent colors, um, you got to have some patience because um, unless you're using a dark base color, the fluorescents take a little bit of time to to really show up. But since these are going to be undertoning colors, and I'm going to paint over those. Um, I really take my time into getting it set good but I'm really just doing a light uh, spray across the bottom half of the hot pink just enough to turn the stencil a solid color and that will be enough I'm not worried about covering up all the orange um, and making it all hot pink I'm just using this uh, as an undercoat for, for my next two colors uh, to really kind of tie them in and, and give it a really cool effect so I'm just going to paint across with the hot pink until my stencil's nice and pink and then I'll switch colors but um, if you're asking if you're wondering about where I get the stencils from this is actually a uh, laundry hamper bag from Dollar General um, they're like two dollars and something and it comes in like a three pack and I just cut them up and I use them all different ways and um, kind of my thing I, I do a lot of baits with them you'll see in future videos and I, I use them a lot um, really cool little stencil I might put some packs together uh, one day of all the different stencils that I use um, but as you see I have it really tight on the top and in the middle but it's kind of a little loose towards the bottom because I want those that stencil to fade out so it'll be really really prominent in the tops and as it goes down the bait that stencil will kind of fade and that's the look that I'm going for I, I want it kind of be really dark 
and then fade out. You'll see once I start using the other colors uh, how, how that works. But we're going to keep on with this hot pink um, and then we're going to switch colors. All right, we're going to go with the fluorescent magenta. And so I'm going to take this and spray over the, the top half of the bay. And I'm going to kind of go down the middle, tie it into the pink really well. And again, I'm just spraying enough to color the stencil. I'm not really worried about covering up all the orange to make it all one color. This is just another under undercoat that's going and it's gonna kind of give it a really good fade down and out so i'm going over the top shoulder all the way down the, the shoulder of the bay not worried about going down the center the top center very much because um, it's going to be black so I mean, you can't if you want to but as you see i'm just kind of going over that top uh ridge and down the, the top of the middle and I made it really well with the magenta. That's the color of the um, color of the stencil. I lost my train of thought there. And uh, I'm gonna go back and forth around it, get it around the face really good, around the tail, really get that that middle set here. So I'm gonna hit it with this color and keep going, and we'll switch again. So I'm just really highlighting the sides with your red, okay? And I am, I am going to cover up the orange, um, but I'm not going super dark. Uh, I'm just giving it a nice little light covering. 
uh, with the rim. It's going to cover up all the stencil, uh, cover up any of the gaps from the fluorescent paint. Um, and it's transparent red, so it'll really tie in with the pink and the magenta. Gives it a really cool effect. So uh, just bear with me here. I'm going to hit it with some red. Uh, and then I'm going to hit the top with a opaque black. And you'll see uh, right there, Createx opaque black. Uh, I'm just cleaning up the airbrush and switching paints real quick. I don't, I don't use a whole lot of paint time with airbrush when I use a lot of colors like this. But uh, I'm going to spray down the back with the black and the color of the tail. And I'm also going to lightly shade around the heel plates, the eyes. Maybe you can do a light spray across the middle of the body. Uh, just to kind of shade it a little bit and create that final uh, it final over the entire again. So you see I'm shading around the eyes here, shading around the shoulder. Um, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. Nothing in nature is perfect. So it's going to look awesome. So I'm just shading down that one side of the back. I'm going to turn it, and I'm looking for shoulders on the brain mat. See, I'm going to shade around the side there, and then I'm going to shade it in real dark in the front. Keep going down that shoulder. I'm going to get that whole back and that whole top of that face going to be black. Um, and we're going to hit it a couple of times. Uh, make sure it's really nice. Bring it down the side just a little bit. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. See you soon.